Good evening, I'm Abigail Massey. Let's take a look at today's news. A developing story, as meetings are underway about keeping Greece away from and brink of an economic crisis, the Greek Prime Minister is meeting with European leaders about a rescue deal for the country's debt. But Europe's central bank is refusing to increase assistance for Greek banks. The banks are running out of cash even after the government placed limits on how much customers could withdraw. Happening now on Wall Street, we're seeing if the economic crisis overseas is impacting stocks at home. The Dow is down nearly 165 points. Starting today, that Starbucks fix could cost you a little more. The company raised prices on many of its hot beverages, but won't say exactly which one since it could vary by store. On average, your bill will be about 1% more, according to Starbucks. But shoppers not happy about paying more for their Java turn to online deal sites. Reads Help Me Not show several hundred customers have already traded the Starbucks storefronts for the website and scored at least 10% off online orders. Cruising to Cuba? Well, by next May, Carnival could become the first American cruise line to visit Cuba since the 1960 embargo. It plans to offer trips from Miami to the Caribbean nation every other week. The week-long cruises would be aboard the Adonia, which carries just over 700 passengers. Carnival Corporation says the focus of the trips would be volunteer visits. Expecting high demand, prices start at just under 3000 bucks a person. That's a look at today's news. I'm Abigail Massey. Be sure to log on to CBSDFW.com for more news, weather, and sports where we are always on. Have a great night. Good evening. I'm Abigail Massey here with your CBS Sports Update. Call him the Lone Ranger. For the first time in eight years, the Rangers don't have but one All-Star. Prince filters that guy. Prince continues to make his push as comeback player of the year. He missed most of last year with a pinched nerve. Currently, he leads the American League in hits in the majors in games with at least two hits. Filter headed to the All-Star game next Tuesday as a reserve. He plays well in these games. MVP in 2011. The U.S. women didn't need a comeback to capture their third World Cup title. All they needed was Carly Lloyd. The U.S. national team is looking for the same kind of performance when they face Honduras in opening game of the Gold Cup at Toyota Stadium in Frisco tomorrow. Part of a sold-out doubleheader with three Texans playing on the U.S. team. That includes Greg Garza from Grapevine and Omar Gonzalez from Oak Cliff. I'm trying to get as many tickets as I can, man, but uh, we'll see about that. That's going to be fun. Um... Hopefully I'll get the start. Um, hopefully get to play in front of uh, friends and family. It is a good feeling to be home, but I think the most important thing is uh, for all of us to adapt the best way possible. The most important thing is that we get the result we want. We go out there and play the way we know we can and uh, start the tournament off right. Jordan Spieth is only 21. We'd like to throw the number two away and just keep the number one. It could happen if all goes right by the end of the British Open next week. Before the British Open, Spieth takes aim this week at the John Deere Classic. It marked his first professional victory two years ago, and it could set the tone for his shot to win a third straight major title. In my preparation for the Open Championship is, you know, what can we do to try and win at a familiar place? Because I feel like that's the best preparation. Get yourself in contention, um, you know, see what's on, see what's off, what tweaks do you need to make for if we can get in contention at St. Andrews. That's a look at your sports today. I'm Abigail Massey. Have a great night. Starting today, all UT system employees will be able to enroll their spouses and kids for these new benefits. Now here at UT Arlington, word has spread, but some are telling us they're still fearful to buy in. The policy extending coverage to the spouses and children of gay employees was met by praise from gay rights groups. But there are also some questions about that privacy. The UT system will require a marriage certificate and application for anyone wanting to extend their coverage to their spouse. If someone wants to go ahead and claim the benefits, in essence, they are coming out at work. Leticia Martinez and employees at the Multicultural Affairs Office at UTA say they hear from staff worried about being openly gay at school. Schools such as UTA have anti-discrimination policies protecting people based on their sexual orientation, but they say there are no actual state laws in Texas to protect gays. And yet if they feel, fear, feel fearful of being in that identity here at work, being out at work, um, that can get really complicated if they're not protected at a state level. Martinez also tells me many may not feel comfortable cashing in on their new benefits until they receive more legal protections from the state capitol. We hope that there's going to be a trickle effect and that in order that will protect people with that. Um, but we don't know. That's some unanswered questions. Live in Arlington, Abigail Massey, CBS 11. 
The water here on FM 2499 has gone down a little, but not much. Now the city has posted more signs and barricades, but that hasn't stopped some drivers from going through all of this. The city of Grapevine tweeted this picture of a water rescue on Saturday. The city says barricades are in place to prevent loss of life, although the driver made it out okay, she was arrested. But take a look at this video posted by the city of Grapevine yesterday. Water covers parts of FM 2499 from Denton Creek. The road has been closed since Thursday, and you can see just how much water covers the road between Grapevine and Flower Mound. The city first said FM 2499 would be closed for three to four days, but now it might be longer. For drivers, getting through all this mess has been a headache, but what's worse is even the construction in the area. Reporting live, Abigail Massey, CBS 11.